Hi there, Yogi, Virendra Yogi, with a wonderful thought today. The greatest entrepreneur, industrialist, businessman, and a person who has risen from rags to riches, Andrew Carnegie said, if a man has the power to control his mind and he has taken full possession of it, then he has really got the ability and capability to possess anything and everything which is legally permissible on this globe, on this earth. The psychologists have discovered it. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve with belief and faith in yourself, in your rightful thought, in your perseverance, in your persistence, in your courage, conviction, willpower, determination, you can really win everything on this planet Earth. And as you Napoleon Hill, when he bought a new dictionary, he removed the word impossible, clipped off. And the Napoleon the Great said, the word impossible is from the dictionary of fools. But if you ask me, what is the ultimate goal of any human being? What is the real purpose of life? I tell you, the real purpose of life is like Buddha. You can have a palace. You can be Siddharth Gautama. You can have everything else. But there is no real happiness and joys there because you are ordinary mortals. Real wisdom comes when you are enlightened, when you are awake, when you know what is right and wrong, when you follow the path, when you are not hovering after, when you are not craving, when you have absolutely control your negative emotions, that is called anger, hatred, jealousy, cynicism, because with this negative mental attitude you can never be successful in life. No postural position can long endure if its foundation is not based on truth and justice. If you are not willing to serve everyone, believe everyone, trust everyone, judiciously, you will never be getting cooperation from others and you can never be successful in life. To succeed in life, take full possession of your mind and fill the mind with a definite purpose. Seek the advice of the best brains in this area, motivating them, inspiring them, giving all the benefits and profits which are going to attain. Be ready to go extra mile, and always trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Because believing in yourself will give you that magical, creative, stupendous power which will really emerge in your tremendous energy, tremendous determination, commitment, passion and will. Never say die attitude and you will be having everything on earth and beyond earth if you comprehend, if you comprehend the real power of the positive mind. The mind is always currently thinking, attaining the goal, following the path which is approved by the society and system without ruining anybody's peace, without hurting anybody's, you are bound to be happy. Dear friends in my life, I see so many turbulent moments. I see so many giants, the film stars, Al Pacino, Schwarzenegger, in India, Mitya Bachchan, and so many great people have reached the climax in their life. That's why Mangeshkar and the great singer. Lot of people I see, and I really get sometimes tempted why I could not become so great as they are, but I don't worry for that. They have got lot of accolades, acclaims, power, positions, awards, and gifts. But I always award myself with wisdom. I want to be Buddha. I want nothing, man. I want intelligence. I want to be awakened and enlightened. Controlling the mind and knowing the reality. Even the greatest Alexander the Great, when he died, virtually he conquered the half world. He said, put my hand open when I die. This great conqueror is going without anything on earth. Be with friends. Be contented. Eli Huell Wilcox wrote a beautiful poem and he searched happiness everywhere else in the company of his beloved friends, in the company of a lot of wealth, 
in the company of lot of acclaims, lot of awards. Ultimately, she was restless and unhappy. Once she got contented with enlightened mind and wisdom, she really got absolute peace. So there is one wonderful advice to all my friends. If you are wise, take full control of your mind. And mind should always be tuned to positive mental attitude. Absolute control on your thoughts. And thought is only pure. Truth and justice, peace, love and non-violence. Always you are avoiding being greedy, being angry, being selfish. No self-centered. Generosity, integrity and humility. Loving everyone. All the great people did this. And if you want to attain greatness, do that. I do that. These dogs, you know, my beloved friends, they are not that wise. They disturb my peace of mind. They torture me, but I forgive them. Learn forgiveness. Because they are innocent people. They don't know exactly right or wrong. But we are human beings. We have the most intelligent brain. The intricate and accurate equipment supplied by the Almighty Father was only to the man. The intelligence sustains our brain, control our mind, streamline it, focus it on the rightful path. Don't hover after, don't be craving, don't be greedy, don't have unwantedly desires like me, my friend. If you tell me, Donald Trump come to meet me, I will have equal power to meet him with same dignity and pride because I am also a great man. Great man, because absolute controller mind, I know what is what. What is what? If you are a truthful man, a selfless man, a man without greed, hatred, anger, jealousy, cynicism, you are great. If you have a lot of money, if you have a lot of post position, anything else, and if you are a man with negative mental attitude, you are heinous, you are a beast. I always kick these kind of people in my career when I was working in different organizations. Respect everyone. Love everyone. Honor everyone. And be honored yourself. Don't accept slavery. Because if you accept slavery, if you accept dominance, if you underrate yourself, if you underestimate yourself, if you develop inferiority complex, you are what you think. We are what we think. We become what we think. Think great. Think respectable. Think honorable. Think you are truthful. You are judicious. You are honest. You are peaceful. Then, if you comprehend these beautiful thoughts, yours is ours and everything that's in it. And which is more, you will be a great man, my friend, like any great man on this earth. No worldly possessions. No great, but control your mind. Very difficult. Aristotle said, the most difficult thing on earth is to control your mind. And if you really mold and command your mind, you are the conqueror. You cannot command others. You cannot coerce others' wills. But you can get joy, happiness, prosperity just by thinking inside. That is the seed in the mind and it will reflect the environment. The environment is just our reflection. God bless you and thank you very much for being a wise man. Control your emotions. Don't be tempted. Don't lose your balance. And as in Rig Veda he said, Sam gachadham sam badadham samo manasi janatam deva bhagam yatha purvi sanja nana upasate means can be speak in harmony with each other, can be walk together, can be maintain our mind level headed throughout our journey of life, can be work with such a full devotion, dedication, commitment and passion that every work of ours will be just like a divine worship. Manifest divinity in your action, in your thought, in your work and you are great. Huh? You will not only have possession of every material on the earth but beyond the planet. What Rudyard Kipling said, if you can keep your head, when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself for when men doubt you, but make allowance to your doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting, 
or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give to hating. Yet don't look too good, not too wise. If you can meet with triumphs and disaster, treat those two imposters just the same. If you can force your heart, nerves and sinew to serve your term long after they are gone. So hold on! When there is nothing in you except the will, except the will who say to them, hold on. The human will that forces some sin, the offspring of a deathless soul, can hew away to any goal. The walls of granite intervene. Be not impatient in delay, but wait. And as one understands, when his spirit rises and commands, gods are ready to obey you. You will be what you will to be. Let failure find false content in the poor world environment. Its master's times it conquers a space. It cows the boastful takes a chance. It bid the tyrant circumstance. Feel a servant place. Beloved friends, be a warrior and conquer yourself. And then, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you will be a peaceful man, my friend. So last words from Gem Seller. Tempest tossed souls, wherever you are, in whichever condition you are, know it, in ocean of lives, the isles of blessedness are smiling.